There is still no evidence why LAM-470 flew into the ground in Namibia. The investigation moves from the field to DAAI offices in Windhoek, Namibia. Is this the last inspection? Looks like it. They begin looking into the way Mozambique Airlines was maintaining the plane. November 28th, day before the accident. Everything seems to be done by the book. The Embraer 190, purchased brand new just a year ago, has a spotless record. Yeah, there was nothing wrong with the aircraft. With no evidence of a mechanical problem, the team turns its attention to outside factors. They review meteorological reports from the day of the crash. All right, Dennis, the data from Mon Weather Station is in. Did bad weather bring down Flight 470? Great. Why don't we start from the takeoff in Maputo? The team scrolls through a series of satellite images spanning the duration of the flight. <sighs> Just some scattered clouds, 3,000 feet throughout the flight. Nowhere near their cruising altitude. What was the wind like? Nothing stronger than 11 knots, so no problem there. With both the machine and the environment ruled out, investigators have only one more avenue to pursue. Okay. Let's look into the pilot records. Were the pilots responsible for the crash of Flight 470? Investigators consider if the pilots of LAM 470 played a role in causing the crash. Captain Hermanio Dos Santos Fernandez. Born in Mozambique. 49 years old. Here we go. How familiar was Captain Fernandez with the Embraer 190? Positive rate. Gear up. Gear up. The team scrutinizes his pilot records. Captain Fernandez was not only well-trained. 2,500 on the Embraer 190. 9,000 flight hours total. He was a very experienced airman. Investigators have exhausted all available avenues of inquiry and come up empty. Any news on the recorders? Not yet, but I'll check in. 